Alright guys, I'm finally making another video again. And um, this entire week, I have half days, so I'll um, be expecting a lot of videos this week and next coming week. Alright, so first video I'm making is an update on all my new betas. As you know, if you watch my one of my earlier videos, there was a disaster and the heater malfunctioned and Azure and Tangerine are no longer alive. And so that means I had two spots in their tank right now, which is a mess because they're doing I'm doing a water change. Okay, so here's pomegranate. Uh she's not new. She's my first beta. She's a female. She's flaring right now. And um she's doing great. Here's her tank right now. It's currently too cold to have any fish in it. Um, and same with one of my new fishes, bull, which is also temporary. Fish should never live in bowls. Well, I have plans for that in a, in a video update. I'll be posting tomorrow, I believe. Still follows my finger. And she jumps. Pretty high, too. You could do it. You could do it. There you go. All right, now on to the new betas. So the first new beta is Citrus, and she and Pomegranate, I'm thinking, are eventually going to live in a tank together. And I like um, fish in the same tank to have a theme for their names. So Citrus and Pomegranate, like they're both categories of fruit, I guess. And um, Citrus, I got the same day that I got the, the two males <clears throat> to fill an Azure and Tangerine spot. And... She's temporarily in this bowl until she and Palm hopefully get a tank. And again, that's in my in my video announcement tomorrow. And um, she's grown a ton since I first got her. Alright, here's Citrus. Now onto the next fish. Alright, so yesterday I was in PetSmart and um they had this huge shipment of baby betas. Um, I looked at a few. Um, I fell in love with this one. And I haven't thought of any names yet. If you can think of any, uh, comment them below. I'm hoping she'll grow pretty quickly. So my new plan is to maybe start a sorority with a bunch of younger female betas. So these three. If you have any tips on sororities... Um, comment them below. This will be my first sorority. Um, it'd probably be in the 10 gallon. And whenever I go to the store and I see, um, like a smaller female beta, I'd probably get it for the new sorority. And now to the males. And first we have Legolas. And Legolas, he wasn't in the greatest condition. He had, like, he had Popeye and his scales were not in the best shape. But I took him home and he immediately turned like much more intense colors. And his um, Popeye is 100% gone now. And he's doing very well, very healthy. And he's probably one of the most beautiful babies I've ever seen. He's a double tail male. And here is his tank mate. This is Aragorn. And at, at the Petco that I went to, um, the veal tails were in like a separate section. And they were, they were in such bad condition, it looked like none of them had their water changed like nearly as much as the more expensive betas. And um, this one didn't look too well. He was, he's really bloated and he had swim bladder disease. For the first two weeks after I got him, he didn't eat and he's just extremely bloated and floated to the top. His fins are healing, he, he no longer has swim bladder disease. So here he is. Here's Legolas, and here's him. And the reason they're all out is because I'm doing a water change on all the beta tanks. But yeah, here are all the new betas. And here's Bomb, my first beta.
And tomorrow's video will probably be on the new goldfish. Um, and if you remember, Mango, Momo, um, and Minnie didn't make it either during that, um, that one week. So yeah, I got, I got new goldfish for that tank. And, uh, a video update on them tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.